Hello my beautiful Cancerians, welcome to your 2021 predictions with me, Lorian, at the Wellington Witch. It's slightly dark here, so I do have some artificial light, um, but I am trying to make up for it with a candle as well. Um, it really goes dark so early now, I can't wait until Yule, where everything starts to get light again here. Um, so again, this is just general for my Cancerian moons and risings and suns. Um, if you don't feel that it applies to you now, you never know what 2021 might bring up. So six months down the line, you might say, oh, actually, Lorian mentioned this might happen. So I do recommend you just keep an open mind. If something really doesn't resonate, it may be more applicable to some other people. Um, so I do recommend you check out all three. Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's have a look. So you are called today to have the Everyday Witch Cards which I'm shuffling the wrong way around. Um, so let's have a look and see what delights they have in store for you. We're gonna do four cards, one for each season. Cancerian. And this will apply to the Southern Hemisphere as well. So we start with the Three of Swords, and things get better. <laughs> Then we have the world, then we have the page of swords, and then we have the moon, which is your ruler. So that's interesting. We are also going to have three cards, one for career, one for love, and one for spirit advice. Okay. Let's bring them down slightly so you can see them a little bit more. So first of all, winter into spring, obviously it's summer into autumn in the southern hemisphere, we have the three of swords. Now this particular card doesn't bring forwards a lot of hope in some people but for me I just see this as a sense of bittersweet energy this is normally a case where you may not feel like 2021 January 1st is the immediate hooray that you wanted it to be it could be that you're still like this just seems exactly the same and to be honest for a while it may feel exactly the same there's nothing really that you can do to change that it's just the energy of what's coming through with the sky as above so below it's just the feeling of planetary energy still sticking a little bit we have some stuff to iron out so with you here communication with yourself you may feel a little bit heart sick of some kind um there could have been recently some separation or still some leftover grief from from certain things of last year and to be honest a lot of people took a beating and because you're an empath you may be feeling that on more levels than one um so i do understand if you're feeling a little bit delicate in the start of 2021 but this improves you can't go past this card in the three of swords without going to the four so the four of swords which would be the next stage of this is recuperation it's your resting time it's your healing time it's understanding that you need a moment or two to breathe and then you can actually continue on a positive moment a positive nurturing connection so i feel this is very important for you in that regard i feel this is so nice and so gentle and it just feels a lot like you're able to grow very positively and grow very strong but it's just a case of the moment you feel yeah a little bit sad or a little bit bittersweet um maybe because the celebrations weren't what you wanted or expected it's going to be quite quiet i think <laughs> apart from some fireworks but it just feels like not exactly what you wanted still some things hanging on from last year that you have to deal with which a lot of us will anyway but just be kind to yourself around that time because you have brilliant cards coming up so in the middle or spring into summer and also autumn into winter in the southern hemisphere we have the world card now the world card is basically the culmination and accomplishment of everything that you have learned so far so this is a chance for you to show off your skills this is a chance for you to say right that end is now wrapped up where it wasn't before i've now been able to do it i've been able to finish it tighten a bow <laughs> maybe not as neat as that but i'm able to tighten a bow bing bang done and you feel a lot lighter for having done that i'm just gonna try and tilt my camera slightly because i have a feeling there we go it's slightly tilted so i hope that's better for you it just feels a little bit like you are now coming to the next stage and you're coming to a place where you feel like your fulfillment is reaching 
that sort of phase where you don't need to ask for much anymore or you don't need to ask for everything. It's something that has been completed. You feel satisfied. You have learned the lessons that 2020 wanted to teach you. <laughs> and now you're able to just kind of cast your worries, say, I've done it, I've reached it, and start anew. Not necessarily brand new, though. It feels like you are starting a new phase, but it's with the knowledge and experience of everything that went before. You are still a life student. The Page of Swords is very much about a life curiosity and a sort of energy that makes you want to continue learning, like he has his books here. So you have still got a lot to learn. Everybody does. Everyone's learning every day. If somebody claims to know everything, they are lying. <laughs> so just kind of continue forward with a sense of, look, I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. I feel very strong. So this to me feels very much like you are continuing on a progression rather than a regression and this is where you can start playing, you can start figuring things out using your intellect, seeing where you may want to go in the world. And do apologise, this is summer into autumn or winter into spring for those of you in the summer hemisphere. I feel like as well that this is a forward motion, it just, you're not trying to be too hasty, you're not trying to be too opinionated, you're not trying to command everything else, it's just something that you know you need to do, and this is you getting the confidence and the wherewithal to actually commit to doing that. So 100%, I feel this is very strong for you, I feel this is kind of like sparked by a passion of curiosity. So he's holding the sword here, and the first card within this deck is the Ace of Swords. So this is um, like he's grown from the person who had that inspiration, who had that power, that victory, that clarity. He's gone through the mill a bit, which I think was 2020. <laughs> and finally, you're like, okay, I'm ready for the next stage of my life now. Now here, I do feel you could be going into higher education, especially if you have um, a very strong Sagittarius or ninth house um, so it could be something around there that you're feeling very drawn towards or even your third house if you have a strong Gemini or third house that could be something that you're working on as well it feels a lot like you are going through a lot of transitions here this is not a simple year for you now numerology wise next year is a year five so out of all the nine cycles it's a year five year four was where we sat at home. <laughs> year four is about home, roots, family, self-care, emotions, foundations. Um, so we had a lot of that themed in 2020. Um, five year is play, playtime, creativity. This is more about your childlike spirit. The, you will rarely have a moment to sit down if the five energy hits you and you will be able to play around and figure things out and you don't have to commit solidly to anything and I would recommend not committing in writing or signing anything during the Mercury retrogrades um, but there's definitely a connection coming in for you to play figure things out so long as you choose a path by the time the six year rolls around you should be absolutely fine but for me especially within this card it's just you saying I have the receipts I have the things to back up my reasoning I have the thing it's not just me being emotional which is a very strong misconception about cancerians I'm not just being emotional I have the receipts to back this up I have the receipts here I have everything I need to prove to you that I am intelligent. Like maybe it's a certificate of higher education, maybe it's just something that, you know, people doubted you on and you actually have the proof now. It just feels like something's coming through around this time where you feel like everything I've gone through has 100% been worth it. I am now reaching a stage where I feel like I can continue on a very strong path. The moon, though... Although it is your ruler here, the moon tends to be living in a fantasy, living in some kind of illusion. So it reminds me of the Seven of Cups a little bit, like you're daydreaming too much. But here it may be like, don't let your vision of the future be so strong that you can't imagine it going any other way because that then limits things that are coming to you so for instance i am going to get exactly ten thousand pounds from the lottery on friday at exactly 8 31 p.m and it's like well you could get that money from somewhere else or at another time you could get it earlier if you needed to it's just that feeling of hang on a minute just kind of play a little bit don't be so rigid in how you're daydreaming your life to be because you may actually miss something better. There's something that's 
you know, coming forwards towards you and they're saying, yes, you have everything, you have the knowledge, but hmm, your imagination can run away with you. So I think don't try and read into things that aren't there. Don't imagine things into such a certain way that you're disappointed by the reality that can be better. Just, you know, I want to toast a glass, raise a glass and toast my successes, but I want it to be here. I want it to be on the beach in Santorini. I want it to be this way. Just try and, I know we like to be specific when we manifest things, but I think sometimes it's just a good to have like this feeling instead. Feelings are what makes a moment special, not things. So it's like, if you've got, um, say you've got a random necklace or a random gift or a random beautiful thing from a stranger, you might feel very touched by that. But if that was given to you by somebody you feel the world about, it would carry a different emotional resonance. So it's just that feeling of the feeling will make a difference, not the gift. The feeling of who who's giving it, the feeling of when you're receiving it, the feeling of, oh, rather than what you're actually giving. And I think some, sometimes, you know, if it's money and you really, really need money, that will be just very handy anyway. But on the surface of it, it just feels like don't be so specific as to how that is given or who it's given from. Just just focus on the feeling of having it or feeling of something. And I think you'll start to feel a lot happier um, when that kind of moves around for you. Anyway, let me have a look. That's closing out the year anyway. It's just kind of looking forwards. That's what you need to do. So we need Korea for Cancerians, darlings. Korea. Korea. Oh, that one wanted to come out, actually. Korea. You have oh, four of pentacles. Now, can we have love card for Cancerians? Can we have the love card? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Drops this. The love card. Ooh, high priestess. And then can we please have guidance from spirit for 2021? Guidance from spirit. Guidance from spirit. You don't seem to want to go back into the pack, so there we go. Justice card. Okay, so like I was saying, agreeing, signing things next year, making, you know, signing on the dotted line, please avoid it in the Mercury retrograde if possible. Okay. Four of Pentacles seems to be incredibly strong here. We have um, very much a stability and security. Your career seems to be going into a very good... Um, a good area um, but what I would say looking at this card in particular is just to make sure that you're not hiding yourself away and you're not again you're not shielding yourself from something better that wants to come in there could be something else you could be looking too heavily on protecting your position and you could be too heavily like nobody else gets to see this I'm not sharing any of my ideas I'm not sharing any of my hopes and dreams I'm just very much sitting on this idea because I don't want to be burned so I think that could be again Maybe the bittersweet thing that you've learned um, not to share everything to people because they just let you down um, in your perception of it. And I do think that don't, again, don't hide yourself away, but also it's kind of saying that if you're in a job just for the money, I think you may want to try and reevaluate that. There's something like, I need to sit on this job because it's giving me the means to which I can support myself, um, but I'm dreadfully unhappy. There's just something that seems to be either it could be something that you don't want to move on from and you're very rigid about it, or there's something that you feel you're stuck in and you have to sit on your money or something like that. It just feels very much restricted. Five is going to open that up for you. I think that you're going to be tested in some way, especially around here, to see if you want to improve your prospects and learn something new or have something on the side. When it comes to love, you have the High Priestess. Now, this one is very much about potential of things, and I do feel that if any of you are looking for love, it would be likely a Pisces energy um, that's coming in very strong here, or somebody that is the Pisces is going to help you find the person who is right for you. Um, but in general, this indicates more of a second, an intuition when it comes to you and your partnerships, and you, you know, even relationships of all kinds you're going to have some more unconscious awareness about the potential of maybe some of the mystery of people around you for me when i'm looking at this card in particular it just feels like you're getting more in tune with others 
not to the extent that it hurts you, not to the extent that your empathy overrides you, it's just understanding more of where they're coming from. Sorry if that's slightly a jump cut, I didn't realise um, that the thing was falling off so I've just had to pause it there. But I do think you're more in tune with what people are thinking and feeling and how they're going about things, but don't do it to the um, extent that it kind of impacts you. Don't do it to the sense of um, feeling a bit drawn out, like you're absorbing other people's feelings. I think that's another thing that you may have learned. Um, but the High Priestess is very much about being in the know. You could also find yourself being somebody that people come to for advice about love life. Um, so you could actually discover that as well. Um, and then the spiritual advice. Some of you may be wanting to get married or put something down um, like being official, like living together, renting something, or even just yourself renting office space, renting something in particular. Um, just something official, it seems like you're wanting to write something down. But justice is very much about responsibility and the decisions you make and the effects of the decisions that you make. So they're saying to be very level-headed, be very balanced. Um, try and be a little bit of a Libra with it, see all sides of something before you make a decision, but when you make a decision it has to be intuitively. Some of you may be forced to change your ideas about something, some of you may be forced to um, alter your perception of a job, a position, in order to move on from something as well. I see that those of you who have been dissatisfied in either love or work or anything else, you will get the opportunity to change your feelings on that. You'll get the ability to change something that you're looking for. Um, I think your ideas of it will alter slightly. And again, your perception here could alter completely when it comes to looking back at 2020 and with the lessons that you learned around that time. It hasn't been easy for many of us, um, but I do feel that this is an equal balance. If you're having to negotiate something, if you're having to settle an argument, if you're having to keep the peace with somebody, or you know, you want to branch out on your own or something, the answers will come to you. It just may not be immediate. So it gives you time to ruminate and think about things. But again, don't let your imagination run away with you with the possibility and you know it has to be this way just kind of let it come to you as it will as a river flows like the cancerians do like the nice little river gentle stream i feel like this is gonna be more of a promising year for you but 2022 is looks like when that's when the hard work actually pays off so you have a year of figuring things out you have a year of being true to you and finding out what it is you want on the inside and six is to make that happen. But let me know if this resonates with you and what you hope to bring in 2021. I'd love to know. And if you need me, I am on the email in the description box or my website down below. But in the meantime, my lovely Cancerians, take care of yourself and each other. And I'll speak to you very, very soon.